My name is Louise Robinson. I'm the coordinator of industrial electronics. It's a three-year technology program that, uh, according to across the province, 94% of the students graduating get jobs. And it seems to be at least that high in the Montreal area for our graduates. About a third of our students go on to university, usually in the engineering, computer science, but most of them go work in industry. Uh, first year is usually basic introduction. They take very basic courses uh, on electricity, electronics, and uh, digital circuits, so they have the background to continue the other courses. Second year, they start taking introductions, of course, it's a little harder. They'll take some motors, they'll take PLC, basic PLCs. They will start doing some process control, uh, drawing, AutoCAD, uh, other schematic drawing uh, programs and uh, learning to write reports and things like that. Also uh, by th uh, third year they're working on integration so they're looking at taking these courses they took previously and making them all work together. So when they're working with a PLC they'll now be controlling a process as opposed to just uh, programming a PLC to learn how that works. In some of our labs we work with uh, pneumatics and so one of our projects that we did today was uh, an end gate. And so basically how an end gate works is that as you have two inputs, uh, each of them needs to be triggered at the same time. So uh, when they're pressed at the same time, an action, the, the cylinder will activate. And then to bring it back, it's connected with a, a simple switch that brings it back. Hi, my name is Steven. I'm here in uh, my, one of my labs part of my program, Industrial Electronics. Um, so what I did here, I constructed a very relatively small circuit in which um, all the components, the obvious components, we have wires, we have a resistor, and we have a light emitting diode, or for short, LED. So as you can see here, it's on. So we have uh, the power supply by controlling the voltage. I also control the lighting of the LED, as you can see right here. All right, so we're in the automation lab, and uh, today we're working with PLCs, and we're trying to configure them right now with the computer. And how it works is that you build a ladder logic, and then you upload that ladder logic onto the PLC that can do uh, functions like, for example, a traffic light, or things like that in your everyday life. Hi, my name is David Motika, and I'm an industrial electronics graduate from Vanier College. I had the great opportunity to join CAE, a global leader in training for civil aviation, defense and security, and healthcare markets. Each year they train on average 120,000 civil and defense crew members and thousands of healthcare professionals. They employ uh, a lot of industrial electronics graduates um, in positions like flight simulator technician, installation specialists, and different positions that uh, require you to travel all around the world. So during my second year in industrial electronics, uh, we did a lot of courses on uh, different drawing software since it is a crucial part of our jobs as technologists. Um, and one of the softwares that we learned was AutoCAD, which uh, led me to start my own company called Service Technique Matsuka, which offers 2D, 3D drafting services for uh, small to medium-sized companies all, all around Montreal. I have to say, my overall experience with industrial electronics at Banyan College was above expectations and I would recommend it to anyone trying to integrate this growing field of technology.